What's happening, B Dubs? B Dubs over there rocking it on the mute already. He is uh he is already missing being live and in that. person in Denver. <laughs> Look at that. I did tank it. I had a great intro. I said, welcome. I was trying to pull the Marlon Faulkner. Welcome to your national call. But we are. Welcome to your national call. We are reimagined deep dive part one. What took place in Denver last week was so incredible uh, that we're actually, you know, I think we at least have two parts and who knows, we may end up with three parts um, but we're really, really honored and excited to uh, Todd and I to be able to host today, but have special guests with us, Mr. Lucas Eckhart. We got Resma, Sigworth, uh, Burks, and then, of course, the amazing leaders of the advisory board who are going to be spending a lot of time with us the rest of this afternoon. And one thing, Todd, before we get into the leaderboards, we got double leaderboards this week. Mm. Um, I was thinking about our call and thinking about momentum because it's difficult not to think about momentum after last week. And momentum is created by things that are new, improved, and improving. And last week, we rolled out plenty of new, so you know there's going to be momentum. We rolled out things that are improved, like the 2.0 version of things, so you know there's going to be momentum. And it's really clear that things are improving. So when you have this DNA strand of those three elements coming together, new, improved, and improving, we have next-level momentum that we're really excited to uh, to really unpack and benefit from together so any thoughts before we jump into the boards todd tremendous week last week in denver so much gratitude for everybody that made the efforts to be out and travel to what is truly going to be a transforming event over the course of not only the next few months guys but the next few years in this marketplace we understand that there was so many awesome new initiatives to roll into uh to lean into um, at conference so what we're going to do for the next couple of weeks, guys, is we're going to slowly um, break down each and every uh, rollout. We're going to talk about pieces that you need to be leaning into in your own business. And uh, today we're going to start off with we're going to lean into Champions Cup. We're going to talk about Slingshot. We're going to talk about um, the exciting program around Reset. We're going to talk about Jeremy Miner, Chris Smith. We've even got an exciting uh, announcement to go around leads today. So, so much of that will be talked about today. Next week, stay tuned. Next week, we're going to roll into MyQuility. Next week will be about QSVs and Switchboard. So we just want to make sure that everybody's marking on their calendar for at least the next two weeks, probably the next three weeks. Make sure that you and all of your teams are getting on the national call, getting an opportunity to hear more specific deep dives on the topics that you all heard from Denver. So. We're fired up. We are fired up. Well, let's get going on these leaderboards. We're going to, it's going to feel like we're running it back uh, because we are. We got double, we got Groundhog Day on these boards. So fire away, Spivey. Yes, this is going to be double leaderboards again. So we did not have a chance to recognize those that um, had killer weeks out in the field the week before conference and, of course, the week of conference. So if you'll duly note the bottom left of your screen, First up, we're talking about week of 812 and the top two, top two new riders, Charles Kraft, Brittany Angel, and Paul Dreda. And top 10 producers, overall APV, Lynn Ostergaard, Edward Pritchett leading from the front, and Browning Reigns with nearly $50,000 APV. Go ahead, Browning. That's a week. How about it? Top 10 producers for apps. We got Jay Brotman, Jennifer Giovanni with 19 and Browning Reigns at 23. Top med sup. We got a uh, well, three-way tie for Glance McCardle, Mick McCardell. Yes. Bryant and Berlin with two at um, coming in at 37.76. And uh, top five disability income. We've got uh, Doe Bon, McGraw and Hensley. Well done. Top five IUL producers. Number three, Lynn Ostergaard, Tarek Musa, and Brandon Howe in first place, 25,000 APV. Top five annuity producers. Number three, Michael Lidecker. Number two, Daniel Armstrong. Number one, Matthew Self with a million dollar face amount. Let's go, ding, Matt. Ding, 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 ding. All right, coming in at top five, debt-free life. Let's go. 
Aaron Weaver at 9240. Joel Edelson, good to see you at Conference 12-6. And George White, 19715. Great week. Whoop, I skipped one. New Writers Week to date on the base shop. Uh, Eric and Julie Perbula, Andrew Jimenez, and Ben Safapore. And for directs, Mr. Carl Miller, Danny Young, and Jacob Pogue with 13 top direct new writers for the week. Well done, guys. SNAs again, week of 812. We've got 11 agency owners tied there. Justin Elliott with two. Mino Glick with two tied for first. Top direct SNAs. We got Scott Summers, Andrew Jimenez, Carl Miller, and Jacob Pogue there tied at the top. Season new agents. Andrea Furman, Brittany Angel, Christopher Gomez, Cody McKnight, Dawn Hernandez, Ivan Hernandez, Jeremy Clark, Jill Ackerman, Jimmy Amanada, Jody Page, Michael Patty, Morgan Litwin, Natasha Leash, Robert Lee, and Shmuel Edelman in the Hinkley organization. Well done, SNA. That means six apps in the first six weeks and well on your way to being in a very successful career here at Symmetry. Outstanding. All right, now we are into the week of 819. Notice that lower left-hand corner. So shout out to all you week 19 folks, starting with our top 10 new writers, Gregory Walker, Marion Williams, and Gabrielle Kolar with 8664. Great new writer week. And for our top 10 producers, we've got Ward Brooks, uh, Jennifer Giovanni, and Lola Anafad. Nicely done. 25707. All right. That's that's 25K tough. week of conference. That's, well done. That's good. That's good. Top 10 producers in app camp. We've got a three-way tie for third place. And coming in in second was Chad Parker. And number one was Holly Alien. Nice. Top five disability income producers. We got Jeffrey Weidenheimer, Stephanie Stubbs, and Caitlin Nelson with nearly 3,000 APV. Look at you, even including those accents on that Weidenheimer. That was very impressive. I picked up on that. I thought that Thank was... Thank you. Thank you. Did you did you take uh, were you a Spanish or German or French student in high school? I took two years of Spanish in high school. Mm -hmm. I was a member of the Legatos Locos <laughs> high school gang, and I was Pablito was my Spanish name. You I was up. so proud of that name. I thought it was so cool. Yeah. Until about midway through the year, the. Uh, the little lady that I had a crush on told me that Pablito meant that I was little Pablo. Little Pablo, little Paul. Uh, I thought you were pulling out some uh, Los Pollos Hermanos Breaking Bad type beat on me right there. Yeah, <laughs> I, spoke, we, I spoke quite good Spanish. I grew up in New Jersey and I uh, I learned Spanish in the classroom, but a lot of my friends were Spanish. And so I actually learned some good street Spanish and uh, could speak it pretty well. Beautiful language. Beautiful. All right. Good. Is this me or you? I lost track. This is you, bro. This is me? All right, top five IULs for the week of 819, Ward Brooks, Helen Martin, and Anthony Ock. Congratulations, coming in at 14706. And for top five annuities, Thomas Hartill, Kim Rothschild, and Ward Brooks with 400K. He can it out over Kim. Good job. DFL, number three, Jakari Footman, number two, Paul Favors, and our good buddy, Mr. Theodore Pritchett, number one, APV, 14,100. Go on, Theo. New riders. Top new riders, week of 819, three way tie. Marty Valore, Darren Stubbs, Daniel Miller, all with two. And the top direct new riders, we got Jacob Pogue, Scott Mank, and number one, the husband of Sandy Young, Danny Young. <laughs> Reimagine your future. All right. Killed it. Today, did a phenomenal today. job up there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Week to date, Snaz, eight people that. Those of whom we do not speak, we don't know who you are, but you still tied with uh, Patrick Slingo and Mr. Tim Penso. Same thing on the direct side, six directs. We got Ayers and Cicely Newsom and Scott Summers with three snaz. Season new agents. We've got Alicia Maestas, Ann Golding, Bailey Stewart, Cassandra Roque, Chastity Rick Green, Christopher Baker, Gabriel Kolar. Jacob Hernandez, Leslie DePriest, and Tibor Ostrovigzyski. Oh, I, I didn't do too well there. My bad. This feels like uh, if I'm channeling my inner Ellison, I'd say, Spivey, what, what, what do you think Mr. Ostrovisky does for a career? Ostrovisky. Com comment in the chat. Comment in the chat. Right. That's uh, the, 
Tibor Ostrovsky. I'm thinking he was a minor league hockey player. I'm thinking classical music composer. Boom. Like that. All right. All right. Now we are shifting into our weekly leaderboards. Here Week we go. Eight twelve. Yeah, we're we're in an 812. Thank you for that attention to detail, like a good ESFP. I love it. Uh, those of you that speak are Myers Briggs. The attention to detail of the sensor versus the intuitive. All right, we've got uh, top three on APV: Amanda Torma, uh, Gabrielle and Ike Munello, and Cassandra Mack. For recruits, Edward Puckett, Thomas McDonald, and Simone Brothers. And uh, for new writers, Janelle Jamat, Blaine Stevens Jones, and Shannon Turner coming in with two on the new writers front. For our weekly leaderboards for AOs, Theo Pritchett, EJ Johnson, JPV crushed it up on that stage. Killed it. Yeah, the, JPV did so good. The DJ who I will never greet in an aisle in a room of 2,000 people ever again because he put me on the spot, but I still... And he won the Blanky Ring contest. Oh, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. DJ Debt Free coming in with five. Gabby and Fred Rausberger coming in at five and Sue Adams with six. And new riders, Dan Barnes, Chris Leak, and Michelle Brock. He's done. Weekly leaderboards for agency director, David Alvarado in third, Larry and Ann Griffin in second, Sarah Reineke took first place. Total number of recruits, Sarah Reineke again, Larry and Ann Griffin in second, and our buddy, Mr. Ben Sapefor, coming in at number one. New writers, Jamie, Susie, Ben Sapefor again, and Sarah Reineke number one with eight. Love it. Rad. Come on now, Rads. We got Andrew Jimenez. Phenomenal job, Andrew, up there. Uh, Trey Anderson, Cloutier, up $100,000. Eileen Balmer in first with 154 in APV. Third in recruits, we got Mike and Christine Riff. We got Elizabeth Maddox. Come on, Beth. Good job. Dave Lappin there at number one with 10. New riders, Sarah Bailey, Marty Valor, and Andrew Jimenez again in first with three. Nice. How about those MVPs? We got the Gainies, Mr. Cook and Christopher Clark on the top. Uh, we've got Marvelous, Marlon Faulkner with nine recruits, Ziller with 14, and Chris Cook with 23, and Ziller with four new riders, Griff Martin with four, and Chris Cook with four. The trifecta of fours. Let's go. That was for the week of 812. And for our SVPs, we've got Mike and Jennifer Colburn, Nate Offert, Kyle and Lisa Kimbrell, top of the heap with APV. Scott Mank with 13, Nate Offered with 18, and Kyle and Lisa Cambrell with 21 recruits. And we got the Spiel Dinner Financial Group at four. Tony Cap at six, The Godfather, and Kyle and Lisa Cambrell coming in at six. New writers tied with the Mr. Tony Capistrano man for the week. Love it. Executive Vice President still on week of 812. Third place, Miranda Martin, Sean Shannon in second, Darren Stubbs in first. Recruits, Darren Stubbs, Miranda Martin with eight, Sean Shannon with 14. Way to go, Sean. And new riders, Miranda, Sean, and Darren Stubbs with five. Associate partner for APV, Ryan and Michelle Miller, Ashley and Tyler Harris. Lynn Watkins there in first place. Recruits, Ashley and Tyler, Ryan and Michelle. Lynn with 34. And total new riders, Carl Miller with 10, Lynn with 11. And Ryan and Michelle with 15. Well done, guys. Great weeks. Senior partners for the week, Mr. Pogue, Mr. Young, Mr. Pritchett, coming over the million-dollar mark. Uh, again, Pogue, Young, Pritchett on recruits. Pogue, Young, Pritchett on new writers. Look at that. Excellent weeks for all of you very respected leaders in our company. Grateful for all of you. Grateful for your stage talks that we'll get to celebrate more in the coming weeks. But uh, – Profound impact y'all had. So great, great scene up there as well. That was the week of the 12th pre-conference. MVP, or sorry, managing partners, uh, Mr. Delaney, Kevin Purdy, and Marshall Whalen. Popping that 1.1 number as well. Kevin Purdy, Brian Delaney, Marshall Whalen on recruits. Delaney, Purdy, Whalen, again, on new riders. Great week, the week of 8-12. Directs, third place, Kevin Purdy, second Edward Pritchett, number one. Jacob Pogue and APV, total recruits, Danny Young, 14, Chris Cook, 23, Jacob Pogue in first place with 36, and total new riders, Carl Miller with six, Danny Young with seven, and Pogue with 13. Base shops, Ashley and Tyler Harris have been on a tear in their base shop. Congratulations. 
Uh, Nathan offered in second place. Saw an incredible video this morning of Nate speaking at his team breakouts. Great job there. Edward Pritchett in first place, $55,000 in production. production. Recruits, Bradley Shinovar, Ben C before with four, and Nate offered again with six. And total new riders, Eric and Julie Brebula, two. Andrew Jimenez tied there with two, and Ben C before again with four. Love it. Yeah, Nate was so helpful. I got, we, we did get a video sent to us and it was uh i mean it was nate at his best in that training mode and i it was it was so interesting to hear he was talking about the early days of uh paper apps and driving four to five hours in a car to get to an appointment and then having to drive back maybe because they forgot a signature or whatever the case was and just all the you know it's kind of the i used to walk uphill to school both ways that our parents would tell us but yeah. in a good way and then it was so funny how he, he dropped the mic with talking about like, um, well, I was on an appointment and the person didn't show up. I had to reschedule it. And it just was just great to put things in perspective, right? The, 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 the quality um, empowering symmetry with technology and how that accelerates business results. Right. And it was just so such a great way of, uh, you know, stories stick. Right. And uh, Nate, so appreciated that and the way you, uh, told a told such a powerful and and helpful story all right now we are on to the week of 819 if you notice in that bottom left corner and uh, we're looking at the key leaders we got kelly bush mark musafer and jennifer Giovanni at the top kelly rogers jennifer gray bryant mitchell on recruits tied at two and then emmanuel on on ogunda pipe <laughs> og ogundip uh, emily livo and david zilkowski that was a tough one Better known as E-Man. Yeah. I did find out that the gentleman we were talking about before, Tibor, uh, the, the classical musician, was in the diamond industry, and they call him the Hungarian Hammer. So we picked on wow. perhaps the uh, a great name to highlight a unique career field. So <laughs> Well done. Um, a AOs, we got Theo Pritchett, Alicia Hudson. Hey, Alicia. And Jerry Choate coming in the top. We've got Aaron McLean, JPV, Gabby and Fred Roethlisberger for recruits, Alan Wolbert, Nicholas K. Ho, and Daniel Barnes on new writers. Excellent week that week of 819. Over to you, Spivey. There you go, Gabby and Fred. We see you. Love their energy. Mm -hmm. Love their spirit, their positivity. Mm -hmm. They are plugged in, buddy, and looking to grow. Uh, love mm -hmm. seeing you guys on the leaderboard. Um, agency director, number three, Sarah Reineke, number two, Larry and Ann Griffin, and number one, David Alvarado. He and the formerly known as Asura crew were representing. Love to see the bomber jackets and uh, the way that they were integrating into uh, one big happy quality family. Good to see you guys out there and leading from the front, especially in this reset program. I know uh, Mike Resma talks about those individuals and how much they poured into that. So we appreciate Every single one of you so much. Uh, on the recruit side, Bradley Schindler, number three. Ben Siegel, four, number two. Larry and Ann Griffin with 12. And the new riders, Jamie Susie with three. Sarah Reineke with three. Daniel Miller with three. And number one, Ben Siegel, four. Come on, Ben. Ben is That's on true. it. He is on it. How about Regional these? Regional agency director. Oh. Yeah. Did I Here do good? I don't Amy know. Fine, 71,000. Number two, Josh Manzano. Number one, Eileen Balmer for recruits. Dave Lappin tied with Beth Maddox. Sarah Bailey with six. Mike and Christine Reef with eight. New riders, we've got Ben and Amy Miller, Eileen Balmer, and Marty Valor with seven. Let's go. MVP is Mr. Christopher Clark, Chris Cook. That's a tight race there. And Brad and Kira Ganey. Uh, same uh, Christopher Clark, Brad and Kiragani, Chris Cook for the flip flop on recruits. And uh, I noticed Griff over there. I see you at the six and uh, Ziller at six, too. I had to move my window there for a second. And Griff Martin, Ian Jordan, all at one. Chris Cook at two. And Christopher Clark, three new writers for the week of 819. Let's go. Uh, SVPs, Nate Offord, Scott Manktank, and Kyle and Lisa Kimbrell. Scott Mank at nine. Nate Offered at nine and Kyle and Lisa Kimbrell at 10 recruits and Mike and Jennifer Colburn, Scott Mank and Kyle and Lisa Kimbrell at new writers. Done. Executive Oops, vice president. Hold on. Gotcha. I got you back. I, I was waiting for a third, but here we go. I had faith in you. 
Miranda Martin, you. Darren Stubbs, Sean Shannon coming in first place. Total recruits, Miranda Martin, Darren Stubbs, Sean Shannon again with nine. And total new riders, Sean Shannon with one, Darren Stubbs with four. Again, this is the week of conference. This is awesome, mm. guys. Mm -hmm. Associate partners, number three, Ryan and Shep, Michelle Miller, Ashley and Tyler Harris. And number one, Lynn Watkins and APV. Total recruits, Ashley and Tyler Harris, Ryan and Michelle Miller, and Lynn Watkins with 27. And total new riders, Ryan and Michelle tied with Lynn with four, and Ashley and Tyler Harris with a total of seven to take first place. Let's go. Senior partners, Danny Young, Jacob Pogue, Edward Pritchett. Danny Young, Jacob Pogue, Edward Pritchett. And then for the changeup, Jacob Pogue. At 11, Danny Young and Edward Pritchett for 15 new riders for the week of 819. Outstanding. Managing partners, Brian Delaney, Kevin Purdy, Marshall Whalen, 719. Brian Delaney, Kevin Purdy, Marshall Whalen. Kevin Purdy at four. Brian Delaney at six. Marshall Whalen at 20 new riders. Think think about this, B Dows, with those numbers. <laughs> Yeah. This 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 was during an event where about 5,000 of every member of the company was mm -hmm. at a conference. Right. Marshall Whaling put it putting up over 700,000 APV when 5,000 people are in Denver. I yeah. think it speaks to the energy and the momentum we have but also the technology mm -hmm. and capabilities we have today to do yeah. our job remote and virtually. It's uh, extremely yeah. impressive. Yeah, I mean, and I'll tell you one of the reasons I got a text from Miranda Martin. She may be on now. I can't tell with my screen, but she said, hey, in the middle of running a switch switchboard appointment beyond soon, right? It's because our leaders actually practice what we preach, right? There's there's an integration of what we do and um, into the lives of leaders, which is really important, right? Being the example, if we look at leadership research, modeling the way is incredibly uh let's just call it it's the ticket to the game of being a leader you know modeling the way being the example and uh and then it's also a, a, a an evidence of duplication right because you've got it takes more than one person to to get 60 recruits in a week and so it's an uh, an evidence of that being modeled and, and lived out so I, I agree it's just incredible to see incredible to be part of but this one's you too spivey go ahead so we got the directs. Number three, Kevin Purdy. Number two, David Alvarado. Number one, Jacob Pogue. For recruits, Chris Cook with 10. Edward Pritchett with 11. Jacob Pogue with 27. New riders, Jacob Pogue, Scott Mank, and Danny Young with seven. Let's go. All right. Base shops, David Alvarado, Tim Penso, Josh Manzano. And uh, for recruits, Brad Shinovar, Ben Safapur, Andrew Jimenez. And for new writers, Marty Valor tied with Tim Penn. So I see Tim over there. Darren Stubbs at two and Daniel Miller at two. All tied, tied for first. So therefore, I got to say Ashley and Tyler Harris coming in at one, at second. All right. How about these bonuses, man? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> I love it. Bonus. These are bonuses. B-O-N-U-S-E-S -E for the month of July. 2022 what do you think got a lot of new folks on the call today checking to soak this in right now guys this is what's this is what's possible uh symmetry continues to find a way to put dollars back into your pocket for doing exactly what the business pays you to do it's an incredible opportunity this is in addition to the overrides this is in addition to the um the APV that you're bringing in, your commissions on the personal business that you write. It is an opportunity to put money back into your business to continue to grow and expand. I challenge anybody in this company today to find another opportunity out there that works as hard as this company does to make sure that we're rewarded both in a uh, financial sense but we're also keeping the main thing, the main thing, which is growing ourselves, to become a leader big enough to have others follow. So it's good to see these folks get rewarded. It is well said, nothing to add. So total bonuses for the month of July, our bonus payout. Broke a million. million dollars, right? How about <laughs> it? How about it? So quite incredible year to date, 6.4 million dollars 
and uh, actually bo- the, the total bonus payout 7.4 equity year to date 6.4 amazing super grateful for the founders the leaders the vision upcoming events now we're going to get into some uh, fun stuff now i i can't say this without saying spivey it is 1256 we did double leaderboards which included a couple points of pause and commentary and we're done in less than 30 minutes i would say uh that we're we're growing i think we're developing i just want to note where credits do so we're getting we, there. We, we struggled one week to get one week of leaderboards in 30 minutes so feeling pretty good we're leaning into the work we're getting there we're leaning in okay <laughs> upcoming events we got um we're gonna hear more about both of these actually we'll just say uh 25th tomorrow at 11 hosted by the founders and Kalini Suliafu if you don't know Kalini that dude is a hoot we love Kalini um just incredible background incredible work he's doing we're going to talk about the bird dog bonus on wholesale so you'll definitely want to be there and then we've got Mr. Resmo is going to talk about this a little bit well talk about uh, annuity certification in a few but advanced markets training on Tuesday at 11 and uh, I know all those are getting archived and put on uh, on the website on Quality U as well, which is great. Uh, we got to connect uh, September 1st, recapping Jess's wild and wise woman travels. So they're going to talk about Jess's last trip and where she's headed next. And uh, that'll be on September 1st at 3.30. Sounds wild and wise. What do you think? No, I like it. I like there you it. Go. I love anything that's behind right. that Meredith Ellison and Wood Zay is behind. That's for sure. Absolutely. Okay. Now we are transitioning into some very crucial, important updates. And for this one, I do believe we are unveiling Mr. Doug Zay. Anyone else, Spivey, or is it we just featuring Mr. Zay on this one? We got Mr. Doug Zay giving us the walkthrough of the how this is going to play out, guys. But this is an exciting yes. opportunity. We talked about it at conference. Brandon and Casey really challenged all of us to lean into the opportunity we have right now to transform this industry through digital leads, but also having a platform in a way to reach these clients, to meet them the way that they want to be served in a very, very streamlined and quick manner. This is all about an opportunity of speed to lead. I think Brian Williamson, we heard Chris Smith talk about this and the importance of getting to these leads so quick. Today is a serious, big announcement. Everybody make sure that you're taking note of this. This is our opportunity to get Quility Digital Leads sourced by Quility, orders placed in HQ, and immediately transferred, guys, we're talking about within minutes, to switchboard so that they can be worked on the platform. Um, The opportunity for digital leads, guys, is now. We're not talking about the future. This opportunity is for everybody to lean into right now. So I'm not sure if we got Doug on. Maybe not. I see, Mr. Maybe not. Maybe we didn't get uh-huh. Doug on, but we've got okay. Quality Digital Lead Orders for Digital Leads sourced by Quality can now be directly placed in HQ. Leads will flow directly into Switchboard. You must have an active account with Switchboard to place a standing digital lead order. All agent orders must be approved by the agency owner and the home office staff before they are active. And you must supply an active credit card that will be charged in full for your weekly requested amount upon the placement of the order. At the end of each week, you will be charged a top off amount to bring your balance up to your full requirement in order to receive leads the following week. So I know we've got Maitland out there. She's listening in. Maitland, did I miss anything on that by chance? Not on this one, but you do have another slide that's got a little yep. bit more info about it coming up next. So, thank you, yeah, we won't, we won't miss that Razor Ridge orders are still placed and managed at Razor Ridge Lead Singular.com. Razor Ridge Lead.com. So, here we go. Uh, go ahead. Here's the next uh, slide. Um, I'll go ahead and read through this one, unless, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and then Maitland, you can. Uh, you can comment. So all standing digital orders will be pre-funded based on your contract level and the quantity of leads you request. 
digital standing lead orders are filled first from these sources. Regular standing lead orders will continue to receive a mix of direct mail, call-in, and digi leads. These can be standing or one-time lead orders. So you're going to visit the leads section in HQ to place your order today. That is live now. I believe it actually went live at 7 a.m. And uh, go ahead, Maitland, any other thoughts on this one or, or Todd? No, for sure. I think you got that covered. Um, I will say we've already gotten some feedback from people in their placing orders that it took, you know, under three minutes. They were able to get it in super easy. No questions around it. Of course, if you do have questions, reach out to myself or the leads team and we're happy to help you along. Um, with the pre-funded account, you will be charged upon placing your order. So when your order gets in, your card will be charged for pre-funding that amount, and then we'll deduct from that amount along the way. So I think we're all ready to go and excited to see these start coming in. So thank y'all. It is exciting. It's very exciting. And I think, uh, you know, we're going to see a big, big swoop in the next five weeks. I mean, this is going to be able to spread to to many, many of you as more and more people get onboarded into Switchboard and was, we continue to grow and develop um, the, you know, the ability to distribute these. And um, man, couldn't think of, uh, um, you know, it's, it's, if it wasn't, if it wasn't go time last week, it's go time today, right? Just to, just to apply this and make sure that we're moving forward with force. And, um, and I know, I know Mike resume has got a perspective on this guys. I was just reviewing yeah. some of our close ratios on these Quility Digital Leads, guys. And when you have the speed to lead factor and you have it working on a platform, we're seeing close ratios north of direct A mail leads. I just saw a list where our top 10 individuals that are closing these exact leads as we speak are north of 40% close ratios, guys. The opportunity is tremendous. When you think about digital leads, we rolled these out months ago, right? We already knew that the speed to lead was important, but the system capabilities were kind of limited us to not being able to get to each lead till maybe 24, 48, or even 72 hours. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're talking about now with the technology we have in Switchboard, we're able to get to these leads within minutes of it actually hitting inventory. Actually, yeah. This is absolutely phenomenal. In seconds, right? I mean, this is all moving through our validation processes and our systems directly into switchboard. And, and when you have that account, right, it triggers the initial communication. So that client is immediately contacted um, and puts it right into your queue to begin working. So it is definitely, uh, definitely one of, you know, one of the most exciting updates, I think, from a lead perspective yeah. that we've had in a long time, because that, you know, sets the stage for us of how we're gonna be able to manage all leads in the future. And going through this process gives us those learnings and understandings we need so that this can happen with direct mail, this can happen with call-in leads, every single lead type. That's our goal is to get it into your hands and get the client served as fast as possible. So um, yeah. you know, go out there, set up your order. I think we shared that, the, and have you gotten through all the slides yet? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you guys were hitting this so quick. Um, we, uh... We didn't hit this one yet, if you want to. Sure. Hear. Yeah, so this is um, something we just wanted to announce and let everybody know. We'll be sending out an email as well, but um, we're going to be implementing some new guidelines in Switchboard. Uh, so starting next Monday, all leads that you have uh, are, will be available for full Switchboard functionality for five weeks from the date they were signed and purchased by you. So that is our standard exclusivity period for all of our leads in the system, where we say that this won't be resold to anyone else during that time. So we're implementing this on Monday. So you have the, through the rest of this week to clean up any lingering stuff that may be in the system. After five weeks, it will still be available to you in Switchboard, but only for phone contact. So you won't have the ability to text and email them. Um, and so it, it drives you to, of course, make sure those things are resolved in, in the first five weeks. But that also allows us to maintain the integrity of our lead system that, that's been running for the last uh, 12 years of this company so that we can assure that if a person does receive that lead as a bonus lead, that they have the ability to, to engage the system the way that they need to. Um, so that will be going to effect Monday. Again, we'll have an email going out to everybody on Switchboard 
today to remind them of this. It'll also be, I believe, an announcement at Switchboard um, to let you know that, that this has occurred. But of course, if you have any questions about it, um, let us know. But yeah. certainly nothing to fret about. It's uh, it's uh, it's it's the way we um, have always known this would this would happen. But now since we're going to be onboarding three to 400 people a week into the system. Now it's time to make sure we've got the right compliance and controls in place so that we all got what we need to, to run our businesses successfully. That's right. Yeah. And more, more to come on switchboard next week. Again, we, we said at the beginning of the call, we're doing a uh, part one of reimagine deep dive next week. We're going to focus on my quality switchboard and uh, it'll be a great, great call as well. Uh, Spivey, I have received more uh, comments or you know, screenshots from people around digital leads where, you know, see the person commenting and saying like, oh, good. Yeah, I was waiting for you to call, you know, contact me or, yep, you know, just I just filled out the form a few minutes ago. Let's let's set up a time to meet. And so, you know, that kind of activity, that kind of effectiveness to uh, to these leads. I mean, this this is actually um, so exciting and we want that to spread to everyone as quickly as possible. So, uh, I know you've gotten a lot of feedback too, so it's been fun yeah. to see that. Happen. Well, and if you guys give me a minute, I'm reading through the comments and questions now, and I see a lot of themes that I could probably hit real quick just to clarify for people. So these are going to be digital lead orders for either Quility branded or Symmetry branded digital leads. This is not the DX leads. This is also not Razor Ridge leads. You should also not cancel your standing order for direct mail unless you only want digital leads. If you only want digital leads, you can place one of these orders, but you can place this in addition to a traditional standing order. And Malin, I think you shared that standing orders, traditional direct mail will still have the opportunity to receive digital leads. They'll just come through the traditional process we've always had. So it will benefit you to set them up, especially if you have switchboard as a separate order. And these are done by state and by quantity by state. Maitland, I don't know if you mentioned that or not, but they're set up in, in the way the others. So if you have a Razor Ridge lead order, you're welcome and certainly encourage you to keep that. If you have a DX, you can keep that. This is going to be an addition to everything else that you already have. Yeah. Excellent. Well, yeah, we'll uh, no, just go ahead. So if I just add, add, add one thing, I know there's out of the 2,900 people that are on here, there's a few OGs that were that remember the days of driving 30 to 50,000 miles a year on their car and driving hours and hours on <laughs> end, spending time in the in the car, being a road warrior, right? What really excites me of being in the industry for 10 years and seeing this transformation of going to digital leads, and I've been fortunate enough to kind of be involved and see some of the things get procured and seeing how they're being delivered, and just think about like it with direct mail you're really reaching out to them and talking to them probably within two weeks of them buying a house or refinancing we get the data we mail it out they put it a pen paper they mail it back to us and we're talking to them within two uh, two weeks with these digital leads they're literally filling out a form online with an ad that tells them exactly what they're getting into it goes in now with this process that we've worked out with ordering in HQ, they fill out that form fill and boom, it's going to go within, go into switchboard for those that, that are on platform within seconds and start out that campaign. And you're right, Brian, we've seen the results and people with texting and emails and calls saying, hey, look at, they filled, they said that they filled this out about 15 minutes ago. I've already met with them, did an application in eight minutes with quality level term. And they were literally protected within 20 minutes of doing that form fill. And and that's the future. That is today. That is yesterday. It's where we should have been um, in the past. And remember that the digital leads are always going to be priced at that 4X lead value, right? So everything that we do is in is uh, thinking through what's going to be profitable for the agent. How can we engage with clients master and with all the different lead types that we're going to be able to do within digital this is the future, and I wish I was still out in the field. Don't tell uh, everybody else about this. But with this opportunity, with Switchboard and these digital leads. So if you're not on Switchboard yet, remember next week we're going to be talking about that, the steps to get on if you're not. But these digital leads um, is the future, and we should be on them right now. So appreciate you guys. Appreciate uh, you. Guys. We, we like having you right where you're at. I appreciate your uh, you know, good soldier wanting to be in the field, but stay where you are. We got to move on because we got some exciting things to talk about here. And so 
Spivey, over to you and uh, and Lucas in a minute to talk about some exciting things here. So fire away. Yeah, guys, you probably saw the marketing communication on this, but just to make sure we're crystal clear. Right now, as we speak, double production is going on. It started on the 20th. It's going to go through September 2nd. What does double production mean? It means that you're going to get double credit for producers and builders on ears. It's going to be for producers and builders on the Champions Cup, which we're going to talk about further in just a couple of minutes. And also very important for our producers, it gives you an opportunity to earn double points for Symmetry Destinations 23, one of the most exclusive opportunities to go hang out with the top leaders in the company. I believe next year we'll be in an awesome all-inclusive resort in Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. But guys, right now is an opportunity, double production. Do not miss out. Make sure that you're promoting this on your team puddles. Do not miss. I cannot tell you the stories that I hear at Symmetry Destinations and EARS for individuals that either qualified for EARS or qualified for a Symmetry Destinations trip because they leaned into a double production week so do not miss out on this opportunity. Get out there, get now, get fired up and get your production in before September 2nd. That's right. And if you're new and you don't know what an ear is, um, equity appreciation right gives you a future stake in, uh, in, in the uh, equity of the company. The founders reserved a percentage for us and it's incredible to see that thing happen. But at the end of the day, it just means work really hard from now through the second and after that, but especially hard from now through the second to get that protect as many families as possible and and uh recruit as many people as possible exciting stuff here we go some more factors some more did you get us more to eat beat up I, I actually texted my wife earlier and i was like hey do we have marshmallows and graham crackers and a hershey bar i want to pull it up on the uh screen i forgot to grab we didn't have any grams but no no i actually hate s'mores to be honest with you I hate them um i don't eat them around the fire they drive me nuts it's like a weird asmr thing or something i can't handle it it's 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 tough to say that 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 of all the exciting things that happened in denver guys this is one of certainly the um the loudest applauses that i heard we we had promoted that we were going to have slingshot into denver it was announced in denver that we're going to continue forward with the slingshot program but as always our founders didn't stop there We've got Slingshot 2.0 with the S'more Factor, guys, and I have asked Lucas Eckert to come on today and describe to you exactly how this program works, because not only is it a tremendous opportunity to recruit to, it's a tremendous opportunity for you all to continue your advancement in promotion guidelines and move up in your uh, commission levels and earn some serious cash along the way. What's really important is that everybody's crystal clear on how we describe this to all of our agents and potential uh, new agents. So, Lucas, do I got you out there, buddy? I'm here. You got me, Todd? Good. Good to have you, Lucas. And that yeah. awesome guitar is always in the background. Yeah, I got to show that off. Of um, so, if, <laughs> if anybody's new on the call, Lucas, either, tell them a little bit about uh, tell them a little bit about what you do here at Quillity. Yeah, so I, I'm the director of business intelligence here at Quility, and and we we do uh, quite a few things. You know, I, a lot of you have seen uh, my name or someone else's name pop up on an email about snapshots or promotions. You know, levels of leadership promotions. But the thing that really gets me fired up is stuff like this. Uh, we do a lot of analysis, saying you know the the founders want to know what what's working, what's not working, and they give us a lot of freedom to do that analysis and 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 show the data, which never lies. So. Um, yeah, that's what we do. We develop and rework uh, a lot of the bonus programs, and that's what we did with this one. Um, I'm super fired up about th this in particular, probably one of my favorite announcements at conference. And I, I think I'll, I'll just start before we dive in by saying we've spent the last year really analyzing, analyzing, analyzing the slingshot in particular, trying to see, okay, what is it doing? Does it work? Um, is it, does it benefit everyone, the people that we want to benefit? And the answer was yes. And what we found was, of course, it's benefiting the, the agent getting the bonus, but it's benefiting people 
right up the line. It's making agencies healthier. Agents are much more likely to stick around um, with this program in place. So that's a, like Todd said, that's a great recruitment uh, tool. So yeah, um, if we want to, Brian, you want to take us over to the next slide? I do, I do. Sweet. So first off, I, I thinking about ways to clearly communicate this, I want to start with what didn't change. And that's the core slingshot as you know it today. We're, we, you still have to hit the same levels. We're not increasing the production you have to hit. You still get to count your total agency, right? You still get bonus, 10% uh, bonus on bonusable carriers. And you still have to meet those writing requirements, you know, the three out of four weeks or four out of five for months that have five weeks in them. So that's not changing. You still get the 10% bonus. What Brandon and Casey said was, that's not enough. <laughs> we, need to, we need to take this to the next level. And so we introduced the s'more factor. Simply put, we have a couple of examples right here that you're seeing. And this is kind of a, a John Doe agent that we ran through the model. His total agency placed just over 10,000. Um, he only needed 5,000. So he, he, he hit twice what he needed to hit. So he gets a s'more factor of two. And I'll even simplify it some more. Just let's go through that one more time. If you need 5,000 to slingshot from 70 to 75 and your total agency hits 10,000, you've done twice what we asked you to do. And so we're going to give you a factor of two. That, that's how simple it is. If you hit 15,000, you get a factor of three. So I think hopefully everyone's with me. And okay. so that's your s'more factor. It's really simple. Um, and what that means is you've, you've got that 10% bonus. We're going to double it. If you hit three times, we're going to triple it. And it, it's as simple as that. So in this example, we see that a thousand dollar 10% bonus hit. Well, now you're getting 2000. Um, and, and the factor can go, go up quite a bit. Uh, we're capping this bonus at a $10,000. So <laughs> it's a cap, but that's a, I don't know that we've ever paid out producer bonuses of that size ever in our history. We saw some of the bonuses earlier, Brian, that you went over. Um, and it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. You can technically make $30,000 in three months. So let that sink in a little bit. Um, that's a salary. Um, and let's go over to the next slide too, because I want to look at one more example here. So here's another example, same thing, an agent going from 75 to 80 needed 7,500 hit just over twice what they needed from $1,700 slingshot bonus, they're getting four grand now. Um, and like I said, that can go up. These are, we took some very, very kind of middle of the road examples and we ran this through, through the model. These are real life examples. Um, it is completely feasible. And we have seen several agents monthly hit the $10,000 cap. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, these are pretty, I would say they're conservative. Um, and then the last thing I want to do as far as a recruitment tool, what more do you need than to say we're going to give you a 10% bonus and then the s'more factor could take you up to 10,000 potentially. But if you look down in the bottom right, the equivalent contract level for this person, and we did the, the data science on this, the 75, the, the average commission that they would have gotten from that, uh, from that 17,000 in business, plus the bonuses we're going to pay out, really they're at 105 contract level as far as compensation goes for other IMOs that don't have these kind of bonus programs. So that if that in and of itself is a huge recruitment tool that we, we really want to see some agencies utilizing. Excellent. Yeah. It's compelling. Very and thank good. you. Yeah. Brad. So, uh, so great for your deep dive. Yeah. Absolutely, happy to. Lucas. Very Brad excited. Smith, if we got you out there, buddy, I know um, Quality, Symmetry, we're all partnered in with the directs, the equity partners to make this bonus capable um, to be to be uh, available to everybody out there that's building. Brad, you were instrumental um, behind the scenes, working through the math, talking about the impact of what this more factor could do in slingshot. So first of all, appreciate your, your commitment and service and your always willingness to give your time to lean in to make this thing even more awesome than what it already is. But you, you, you had some very strong feelings around the slingshot and s'more factor and just wanted to kind of share from your, your point of view. Yeah, Todd, thanks. I appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Everything <laughs> you guys rolled out at conference and this is a big one. This is a, a big, to me, this is a, a, something that's going to really help catapult our agency because whenever you can put investment into the new people, you know, help put more money in their pocket we just see this exponential growth factor that happens. Mm -hmm. um, 
And here's what's cool about this. Like, first of all, it's 10 points higher than what is even on the screen with the announcement of a 10% raise. We're not even factoring that. In. It's not 70 anymore. It's 80. So okay, effective cool. comp on this one is actually 115. Um, but here's what's cool about this that a lot of people don't, don't even realize. Let's just look at that. If you had a 120 contract level and you put somebody at a 115, you're only making a 5% spread. But with the slingshot bonus, they're effectively at a 115 contract, but there's still a, an equivalent of like a 30% spread. So there's so much more money being paid out than just contract. That's why, you know, reimagine comp, reimagine compensation, and no one is doing this. You know, this is, this is unique. So I just, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Mm. Love it. We all are. And uh, speaking of uh, exciting things, hard shift into the Champions Cup part do, <laughs> as they say in France. Part do. Part do. Talk to us about Champions Cup. Champions division, guys. This is the premier division that 39 individuals out there have an opportunity to win. A four-night, all-expense-paid, world-class vacation with some of the top performers and managers at a resort and picked by the founders. Guys, this is a trip you absolutely do not not want to miss. The opportunity is there to um, really push yourself, drive your business. We have all the contest rules are on HQ. It is going to be a dollar. Every dollar equals a point on submit at, uh, APV. You're also going to get points for having new licensed and opt credentialed recruits. You're also going to see the opportunity to get 6,000 points for every SNA. There are fine print dead, uh, uh, rules, guys, that you're going to want to make sure that you're checking out in HQ under the contest section. Make sure that you're dialing into that. Um, it's important to know that we're also going to be doing 100% of that business needs to be through our bonusable carriers and bonusable products. And at the end of the contest, we want you to be champions, right? So it's going to be a minimum of 70% of the business is going to have to be issue paid on the book. So make sure you're checking out the fine print. But what does this mean, B-dubs? From every single direct in this organization, you have a chance to be their number one participant in the contest and win that all exclusive trip and vacation. However, there's more. There's more. Of course, the founders wanted to do something even more awesome. So as you guys heard, there is an exciting new partnership that's floating around, Quility and Symmetry. And so the top overall Champions Division winner is going to win the grand prize. In addition to the all-inclusive all trip, the grand prize winner is going to be going to the Super Bowl the with Super the founders. Bowl. You get a flight, you get a hotel, you get a ticket to the game. You're going to get to see Quigley all about the stadium. Truly a once in a lifetime opportunity, guys. And as always, we want to make sure that our directs continue to lead from the front as they always do. There will be a Champions Direct division that will put each of our directs in direct competition against one another. Fun first place winner, again, being a trip to the Super Bowl with the founders, flight, hotel, ticket to the game. Second place, on that um, world-class vacation, you're going to get an additional night and a suite upgrade for the entire week at the direct trip to the LeBlanc in Mexico. And don't forget, B-dubs, they talked about it in Denver. Mm. Third place, always, will get something really, really terrible. Mm. You know, uh, a used urinal. Yes. Um, uh, a, a 1989 Miata could be in play has been in the past plenty of a terrible prizes out there guys but also wait there's more <laughs> the founders wanted to make sure that we include an overall top first place winner for the top base shop 
and a different category for the agency owner division winner will also be joining us in the LeBlanc, uh, Mexico for a once in a lifetime trip. Guys, this contest is going on as we speak, September, October, November, and December. Any of that production that you had starting August 20th will be included in your September results. Make sure that you are tuning in to the contest section of HQ to get all the fine print, to get all the rules, how points are accrued, and make sure that you're on top of this for your own sake, but also make sure that you're properly communicating with your team. Love it. Spivey, you can go, man. I just want to jump in there. Um, you, you hit that there's points for contracted, licensed um, agents, SNAs. Um, new writers is one that you didn't men mention that, that people will also get points for in addition to production. So, absolutely. Good catch up, Bowden. So, it's dollar yeah. for a point for every APV and submit. It's points for also newly licensed and also op credential, new riders, great catch, Pogue. And then on uh, the 6,000 points will be awarded for SNAs at 6,000 for anybody that you get six apps in six weeks. Boom. So much to be excited about. And uh, man, how good was Chris Smith on the stage? Chris Smith was exceptional he brought it it was um just so fun to see a lot of his research right that he shares in his book the conversion code i know many of you bought that and benefited from some time with chris um you know i one thing i wanted to highlight and just sort of recap is um and, and by the way if any of the um we'll, we'll start to pull if any of the uh advisory board members have one thing from chris smith that stood out i'll take one advisory board member in a minute um to comment here but one thing I want to point out about Chris Smith and our partnership with Chris is, number one, post-conference here, he's going to be consulting with us and working with us on you know, some of his core expertise on, on lead gen and funnels and all of that to make sure that we're actually uh, using you know, the latest and greatest marketing and, and digital lead gen um, approaches. And he's done some really great things there. But I don't want you to miss um, that he did spend time talking about um, the importance of engagement and relationship. And this to me is another example of like, you know, quality technology and an agent, right? High tech and high touch, right? Quality and symmetry working together. And I think he talked about the, um, he talked about the call, uh, when you're on a, 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 the call with a prospect, if it was a six minute call, it was way more likely to convert than a three minute call. So don't mistake speed to lead for, the um, undermining of your role as a person in the field serving families and protecting families, right? So actually, a little bit longer time was more helpful. Why? Well, a lot of what Jeremy Miner talked about, too, just in terms of the approach and the connecting and the engaging. And so I think he just did a, an absolute knockdown job um, just sharing a lot of that data with us. And we're excited about the partnership that we have with him over the next wave here to hear him consult um, and uh, give us some good direction on how we can get better, right? We're always getting better too. So anyone, uh, any advisory board with one burning uh, Chris Smith comment that you want to make? I'll, I'll open it up for you to unmute quick. Sure, well, one of you. Go ahead, I, Go ahead uh, Jake. Yeah, thank you so much for having us on, uh, buddy. I appreciate it. But yeah, I, it's right along the lines of what you're talking about, you know, with with that engagement. And I think it goes deeper than just with our clients, right? Like with our agents as well. If we're building a business, Ooh. like that engagement piece is so, so very important. You know, I talked a little bit about it from stage, but if you want to build relationships with people and over time, you know, I used to early on as a leader here, the mistake I made is the only question or, or the first question I would ask everyone is how's your business going? Right. Because I really, you know, it was just like, what did we talk about? So I was just, I'm the mentor. Right. I have a like, you know, uh, this cap one that I'm, I'm better or smart, you know, and you need to come to me. And, and what I've learned over time from, from Casey and Brandon and all these other amazing leaders in this company is 
and the books that I read, right? It's that like, it's our job to be interested in people, not interesting. Mm. And the more I can dig in with people, Tab, and find out what their family situation's like. I mean, there were some people, a ton of people at conference. Like, I'm just digging in and getting to know them. What were they doing before this? Do they have any children? Show me some pictures. And, and, and if they brought up a business question, I would answer it. But most of my conversations at conference we're surrounded around engaging with people because mm. when you when you can build deep relationships with people, look, people are far less likely to quit on friends um, than just a business associate. So I just thought that was a, a, a great point. Excellent. Love it. Love it. And uh, great. So let me let me talk to you all a little bit about uh, Mr. Jeremy Miner and our back end uh, post conference uh, recap. He presented uh, on stage, just about the the new model of selling, if you will. Which, by the way, um, let it not be lost again. If you didn't hear him say it, um, he complimented the founders and us backstage as we were talking. He said, "You know, your scripts are are the best I've seen." You know, so we we weren't surprised to hear that because we know we've got some great minds and uh, understanding of sales psychology and so on. But we also still believe that Jeremy's expertise has a lot to offer us, and so we're doing. Um, one thing together as an all hands symmetry nation, if you will, and that is uh, launching the week of September 19th. We're going to have an eight week all hands sales training, um, and we're working on the exact time slot that that's going to be. You don't need to do anything to register for that. There is no cost for that. It's just going to be Jeremy and Symmetry Nation, and you are going to enjoy a deeper dive on a weekly basis into his methodology and what you can learn. They also made available for us um, his NEPQ platform. Um, and so if, if anybody missed this detail and you want to take advantage of this, um, you can unlock this by visiting the Reimagine Recap in HQ. I know many of you have signed up uh, already that, have, uh, that I've heard from. And so uh, this is a 12-month uh, access where you can go deep and really be certified in his, uh, his NEPQ framework. And uh, to get the code, because one person, I was, I was feeling the pain for you. They didn't use the code and they emailed me. They're like, man, they, they charged me five grand on my card because I forgot to use the code. I'm like, yep, they'll, they'll get you right. But you want to use Quillity 2022. And so for the whole year of access, which is normally $5,000, um, they're giving us access for $596.76. So if you want to go deep in that methodology, uh, Resma has been through the whole course. I've been through most of it. It is very, very well done training. And um, we are going to be integrating a lot of, you know, he's working on us, working with us behind the scenes to work on our sales scripting and bringing a lot of his expert nuance insights. So we'll be integrating that into our scripts and our training on our own. But if you're a hard charger and you want to get after that, we would uh, definitely say that that'd be an excellent investment of your of your time and uh, and money to do that. Final thought on Jeremy. Um, I asked Edward if I could share this. He uh if you follow Jeremy on, on Instagram or TikTok, you know, he shares like two video posts and two kind of text posts a day. And one of them was about what do you do if somebody's ghosting you, right? What do you do if a client is ghosting you and they're not getting back with you? And Jeremy did a little thing about how to respond. And, and I got the screenshot right here because Edward was telling me that one of his uh, people was kind of ghosting him. He used Jeremy's model and boom, that was the thing that triggered the response and resulted in a uh, a win and, a, and an investment. So just really great insights. And we're grateful for uh, for that partnership that we'll get to really kind of extract his expertise and integrate it into our world. I don't think uh, we could get as fired up as we're about to about annuity certification. So Resma and team, you guys want to talk about uh, what we got going on here? Fire, fire us up, man. Ah, right on. Mr. Nate Burks, you out there, buddy? Yes, sir. Why don't you tell them all things QRS and what's happening next week, my friend? Man, I mean, uh, I think everybody has heard drinking from a fire hose at least a dozen times over the last you know week or so. But um, just to add to it, you know, we we said it so many times. I hope that y'all continue to hear it too. But there there is no such thing as enough sale, so only just not having enough solutions. Well, we just added another couple to the to the bag of tricks, and one of them for all you annuity producers out there, or for all of you aspiring annuity producers out there it just got not only a whole lot easier but it just got a whole lot better i mean i, I think every everybody out there's got some room to grow regardless of you know how talented or 
maybe you're a savant in your in your area of expertise, but there's always something we can take from it. These guys, our new partner, uh, Advisors Excel, has created an annuity certification course, and it is comprehensive. I would really try and stress to everybody that truly wants to learn annuity and learn it correctly. Spend a lot of time with it. Like, take your time. Don't try and rip through it. I mean, apply. If you have a, a sales presentation you've used, you know, successfully for years, great. But there's still some stuff to make it better, right? There's still some stuff that you can add and take from this. So really lean into it. Take your time and make it all or at least a large part of it part of your process. So that course is live inside of Quill to you right now. Um, hop on in there, annuity certification course. It's going to take some time. It is very comprehensive and you will be, regardless, you'll be a lot better coming out on the other side. Now, when you do get to the other side, that's basically your pass to get contracted with these new proprietary annuity products. 19 years, I've never seen anything that comes even close. I mean, it's head and shoulders above anything that I've ever written. I mean, Mike Rezma and I, Jeff Sigworth and I, all of us, when we saw it, we said, for the first time personally, that's where I want to put my money. I mean, it's literally just so much better. So I know Athene's got some great stuff. I know F&G's got some great stuff. This just dwarfs all of it. So as soon as you complete that course, there'll be a link to take you to a Sure LC um, model to actually get contracted. You got to get it. There's two products for sure that'll encaps, uh, that'll basically take up probably 95 to 98% of your business. So we're not talking about needing to add, you know, 20 carriers and 60 products. But learn them, dig in, and you'll be very, you'll be very happy that did more importantly, you'll be literally changing people's lives in terms of retirement. You can take care of them while they're living and retired. And obviously we're already taking care of them. God forbid something happened to them and they and they pass away prematurely. So I'm really excited for what yeah. what's coming in the next weeks and the next months. It's uh in the next year, it's gonna be really cool. It's a big one. Hey, Resma and, and Nate, um, whoever wants to comment, um if when when would be the best time i'm thinking for newer agents and um and so on like wh when would be a good time for somebody to dig into this if they're newer is this something yeah, they should i was just a, yeah, yeah no i was just a, i was just about to to add on to that right this annuity certification advanced markets is not for new agents like we talked about at conference everybody should be focusing really on this reset program which we're going to talk on the next slide and that we trained on you know, this is where you need to talk through and get AO approval to make to um, before you actually get into certifications for advanced markets. But the one thing that Nate's highlighting is that we've got a company that's done $10 billion of annuity business this year that's creating the certification, giving us access. But always make sure you have AO approval for us, you know, um, really AOs Great. and above, maybe key leaders and above, but always get upline approval before you get into it. And you guys should, everybody should really be focusing on, on resets right here. So um, first and foremost, I need to apologize, Symmetry Nation, because yesterday when we did our, uh, when we did our, our first kickoff call and training call for resets, we hit our cap of a thousand people literally within 60 seconds. And I was not expecting that for, so for all of you guys, out there that was not able to jump on i apologize we're getting that corrected and fixed for next week but we blasted out yesterday 5 30 p.m eastern time the recording it's up on hq on the major dashboard on the four different things that you can slide through on the main page of hq you know when you think about resets just like what nate talked about you know there's there's three um there's no such thing as a as a no sale every single client that you guys come across falls into one of three categories they have debt they have no retirement or they have some retirement at all so you as a new agent everybody who's out there you guys will execute your financial fire drill on the digital form it will automatically recognize which solutions that make sense be able to book an appointment with the subject matter expert seamlessly earn massive passive income there's three roles as it comes to resets there's an agency owner and above role with approving the SMEs that can receive uh, uh, the resets for your hierarchy. There's the referring agent role, and there's obviously the subject matter expert role with reporting and communication. So all that stuff is in HQ under training and training scripts at the bottom. You can also watch a record webinar, but every single week, Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern, we're going to be talking about resets um, in advanced markets, and specifically next week, Tuesday, the 30th at 11 a.m. Eastern. It's going to be all QRS, not just the certification 
education and the leads, but really highlighting our new partner, Quility Financial Advisors with Holistic Retirement Planning to Middle American Families. So be there. We'll see you guys uh, next week. And uh, let's go help out every family we see. Love it. Love it. And that's, by the way, a good transition into Summit because I was just talking this morning um, with uh, with with Hanson, our Leeds GM, and, and BLT from Razor Ridge, right in our Sales 102 block for new agents. We actually do some training on this. In fact, Mike Resma, you do the training on introducing new agents on leveraging, you know, the FIF reset process. And so um, really, really great. And it's really important. As you can tell, it's a value for us. We don't want to overwhelm people. We want to give you what you need to learn, when you need to learn it. So one thing I just wanted to confirm for everybody about our summit, full uh, MVP product rollout. We're not done. In fact, we're kind of starting over and doing a much more detailed analysis and upgrade. But um, we do have now live all five phases of summit. And for those that aren't on board yet or haven't heard, Fast Track is no longer located in Quility U. So when you go to Quality U, you won't even see it. It's gone. And so are the skill blocks that we had in Summit. And the reason for that was to reduce friction and just make it very, very simple for a new agent to come on board. And the only communication we need to give them now is, hey, welcome, welcome on board. Start your Summit journey. And then Summit takes them from there, right in HQ. Still the same videos. It's just all in the in the uh, process of Summit. So hopefully that makes our lives much simpler. We're not setting people back and forth, back and forth. And so uh, please do, you know, check that out. Uh, submit a support ticket if there's any issues. We haven't had any major issues, thankfully, but um, keep us posted if you uh, if the link's not working or something like that. But we're all um, square on our, our big summit launch. And again, best ahead for that and for that content. Uh, we're working right now with uh, with our QSVs to get the uh, MyQuility and Leads and other switchboard content integrated so uh, one step at a time, and that's the, the whole aim of Summit. So speaking of Razor Reed, uh, Razor, Razor Reed, Razor Ridge Leagues, <laughs> BOGO, go ahead, Spivey. Yeah, buy one, get one free on first-time lead orders for a life insurance lead. It's now extended through September 11th. Again, BOGO on first-time lead orders through September 11th. Uh, guys, there's so much excitement around this. You see some of the words from the street there and some of the excitement, some of the success that we're seeing through Razor Ridge leads again on a digital platform such as Switchboard, guys. This is the future. The future is now. So let's be clear. We are seeing tremendous success right now on the digital lead front uh, from Razor Ridge and also the Quility Digital lead. So make sure you're leaning into that as an agent and an agency today. Yeah, it's exciting. And last but not least, before we hear from our advisory board to bring it home, bird dog time, bird dog bonus program training call. Uh, again, with the founders and Kalini uh, Suliafu, and uh, we're going to be kicking that tomorrow at 11 a.m. And so this this represents, in fact, I was talking to uh, some folks. Um, I know Larry and Ann Griffin have some people in their agency that I uh, think this applies to that they're working on something. It's just really, really exciting when you can partner with someone and a team like we have represented with Kalini and others and actually, you know, impact many, many people and see uh, income increase, right? Impact and income. And so uh, this is a big deal and it's a big deal for you to just, again, incorporate. I love it when we can incorporate things into our life versus adding things into our life. And to me, the bird dog certainly can use some intentional um, time, but it's it's definitely something you just can incorporate into your life as you're sitting with a family, as you have business, uh, friends, and networks. Um, you're going to find amazing ways to do this. So uh, final thoughts on this one, Spivey, before we hear from our, our, our advisory board. We heard it from the founders, guys. Quility is transforming an entire industry and nothing is going to lead the way and be more in the forefront than um, symmetry leading the pack as always. What we are able to do, guys, is sometimes symmetry is not always going to be the perfect fit for whatever reason for an agent or agency. They might not be looking for all the support. They might already have their own shop and is functioning and has 
um, whether it be leads, whether it be contracting, whether it be their own marketing, whether they focus on a different market than we even currently sell to. There are plenty of opportunities out there, guys, where business is being conducted in the insurance space on the life side that can be handled through our wholesale channel. And what Brandon and Casey and Pope are doing is they're equipping you all the capability with a very light touch, with basically just a warm introduction to send that outfit or that agent or that agency over to the wholesale channel. You can bird dog them to the tune of one to 10%. And again, as Brandon and Casey said from Denver, if you're making a 1% override on something you bird dog to the, the, uh, the Q2B channel, then you've landed a whale. But we want you to be able to continue and focus your main thing, which is growing your own independent agency here at Symmetry. So tomorrow you're going to learn all about how you can do a warm handoff to the appropriate team that will take that lead, will go nurture that lead, will do their very best at a very high successful clip at this point in converting it into a wholesale agency within Quility and let you override it and enjoy that passive income. Wow. There you are. There's everybody. <laughs> we got a big crew on today. So advisory board members, we would love for you to unveil and uh, spend the last few minutes with us. We got about 15 minutes. And so probably won't hear from all of you, but at least we want to see all of you. Um, super grateful for all of you. I think, I think, I think all of you had stage time. So again, super grateful for that and definitely was Tremendously impactful as we look around here to this crew. Um, Janet, amazing MC. Um, you know, Brad, your talk just, I mean, no words, no words to describe um, the impact and uh, just legacy, living for my last name. And just thinking about that as I was seeing my younger son Connor off into his dorm at Michigan State Monday. And man, we just love you so much. And we're so, so blown away. Now, there's so much. I mean, we could go on and on uh, about. Cicely, Edward, Jacob, all of you. I mean, but man, fire away. Who wants to uh, chime in? Just what's what what's been the the post conference momentum for you? Whether it's new, improved, or improving, who wants to kick us off? I'll jump in. I um, you know, even just hearing this call again, like the thing that comes to me is like, I am relevant in the marketplace. You know, <laughs> and um, I think like the message for that that's just been on my heart for all of the week and I've said it multiple times and so sorry if I'm a broken record but like I feel awake like I have never felt awake before and um what being relevant in the marketplace I, and right now I want to speak to the 300 agency owners that we have right because we are the future leaders that are developing this company and um being relevant in the marketplace we have to reimagine that right now as, as leaders. And, you know, we have, we have a, a, a trend that seems to happen where we may be tempted to pull out of the field too early at that ag agency ownership level. And like my rally cry right now is like, can all 300 of us get back in the pocket so that we can learn my quality, we can lead from the front on razor, I mean, on um, switchboard, we can like be in the, in the stadiums for these NFL games and we can just really rally, but we have to know what we're asking our people to do. And if all 300 of us even just got back in the pocket and implemented these systems, like that, that 10 billion just, I mean, it just keeps going and going. So it's like my, my rally cry right now for all of us is like, can we find that energy to do the things that we have not done before? Things that we are no doubt uncomfortable, that will be uncomfortable for us to do as we get in the pocket with these people, roll up our, roll up our sleeves and use some switchboard leads and all this stuff. And can we just stay really focused on leading from the front in this season of so much technological change? Thank you guys. Love it. So oh. good. Go ahead, Keyshawn. I just want to say personally, uh, Cicely, just hearing you speak too, and the, what the energy you poured in at conference was simply amazing. And just that that moment for me coming backstage and seeing you for the first time after that, like, was so emotional for me. Just seeing how you left it all in the field, and I appreciate that, guys. It is going to start with our agency owners, and 
knowing, um, like we always talk about, leading from the front, and uh, you certainly put that all well on display. So, Keyshawn. Yeah, I've been just holding back to to say something because I what I was thinking was, you know, a lot of the times what we're we're going to these events to do is to kind of to gain hope, to increase our optimism, to think about like what does the future hold, and when I'm looking at it, it's like a lot of the times we get a lot of anxiety and worry behind what is happening in the future. Yet, what you guys communicated to us is we got this. We got the future in store. Like we are working on a future that you guys don't have to worry about anything about. They've got such smart people that are bringing on. They're like, we need smarter people than us, you know, for us to be able to go to the next stage, bringing on, you know, just really just amazing talent. We had the opportunity to meet some of the people in the advisory board, every partner meeting um, beforehand. And it was just I'm impressed. So here's one of the things that I just thought was, how can, how do I contribute? How does our team contribute? How do our lead our leaders contribute? Is we get more people utilizing the systems that are in place. Really, all that's in place is really what we need to do is increase distribution. That's the fact of it, because there's not a whole lot that we have to do for, you know, establishing what's going to happen in the future. That's that is that is the fact of where we are going 10 billion is not any kind of doubt it is it is a fact and so all we are doing is because the end has already been written all we're doing is writing the chapters in the middle and i appreciate you guys having us along for the ride and to be able to um, to be a part of what's being what's taking place in the next you know decade here you bet i'll, I'll follow up on 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 both of those with sicily and and um Kishan. Um, George and Janet Matthews direct to uh, Symmetry via Kevin Purdy and the Watkins Agency. And um, my wife's under the weather here right now. So, um, you know, thoughts, thoughts with her. Um, and Blue yeah, Jacket I'm winners, also... George, let's not forget. <laughs> Thanks. You know, um, we appreciate that. You know, the, the jackets may bear our names, but, you know, the, the, I, I, I've been thinking about this, you know, that every thread is symbolic of um, each and every eight staff member within our agency and represents their hard work and, and their commitments. And the fact itself um, was tailored and is held together by this amazing symmetry culture. Um, so we are we're grateful for, for that. Um, I want to I want to talk to the, to the newer people that are here. Um, and, you know, I, I think that, you know, when you look at the reimagined transformation, you know, we're in your life right now. Um, I think it's clear, it's crystal clear that Quilty's intentions are backed by their actions and their commitments. You can see that, right? And in the quantity and the quality of the staff that Kashan was talking about, the caliber of the executives and department heads and, and the rollouts and announcements did. And, you know, this is, this is a partnership and, and a collaboration. Um, and it's now our turn to meet their commitments with ours. And I think each one of us gets to choose whether we want to be a spectator or whether we want to be a player. So let's buckle up and, and, and kick some you know what. Um, you know, I, I think that when, when it comes to what our team's focused on right now, you know, one of the one of the challenging things as you're moving into running your own business, being in business for yourself but not by yourself. Is, is getting through that area and be profitable enough to be sustainable, right? To then be duplicatable. And, and you know, when you've got the tools, what we're focused on is Summit. Thank you, thank you, B-Dub. Um, we're focused on the NEPQ and Switchboard because if we can get high engagement in those areas and adaptation in those areas, um, not only will you become profitable quicker, um, but it also is going to in increase, you know, your, your uh, attraction from a recruiting perspective, the value proposition that you guys are able to do to get all of us profitable earlier in this game is going to allow us to become bigger and better. That's all I got, man. Man, I, that is so good. And by the way, I can't miss the opportunity. You, you threw out like a gladiator level quote. You did it at conference too, after you won the blue jacket, you're like, the jacket may bear my name, but it is hewn with the threads of my agents. Like you, you said it so casually, but that was some gladiator level stuff there, brother. That was crazy. And that's so profound. And I'm not surprised that you said that because I know you mean it. You and Janet have poured out to your people 
selflessly and consistently. But man, don't miss that Russell Crowe moment. Uh, so that was good stuff. All right, who, who's next? What advisory board members next? Go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, I'll, I'll speak directly to the builders, especially new builders. I, I think that's a big one is a lot of times they can get where they tend to be the busiest people producing, newly recruiting, trying them to figure out how to onboard. I'll just tell you guys this. After six years of being here, we literally have the greatest agent development process to come into this business. That anybody can be so green, not even know how to spell or define insurance. And they can go from being that to building an agency to getting into advanced markets because of Summit, because of FIF resets, annuities, quality coaches and cohorts, Jeremy Miner. Like there's nothing more than you need to do than one of the best leadership rules you could ever live by. Nothing takes place of a good example. You need to be the individual that leads that team and goes and starts to learn that stuff and finishes out Summit. Right. And goes out there and says, OK, let me take on this FIF reset and start passing things that way. So that way they can work on it, too. I'm telling you guys, I'm beyond excited because I've always been told this. If it's the best place to produce in the industry, it's the best place to build an agency in the industry. And that's exactly what we've done. So well said. So well said, buddy. Jennifer, <laughs> how you feeling over there? I'm feeling fantastic, <laughs> especially after everything that we just heard um, again. Uh, but I do want to share a little bit something with everyone. And um, and I said it in one of the breakout sessions, um, but be intentional. Uh, we have a lot of stuff that has just rolled out. Um, and many of us are following these great giants and rightfully so. Uh, we can we can trust this company with everything. Um, they have been good to us and they continue to be good to us. And so with all these things that are happening and rolling out, my advice would be to be intentional with what you do. Yes, we're followers, but we're also leaders. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a new person or not. Um, you're still a leader. Um, so just think about how you're incorporating this all into your own business, your own life. And remember that like what Andrew is saying is that you are an example. Others are watching and looking. looking. And um, it's just really important that we remember who we represent, not only this company, but our own agencies and those that are coming in here as well, so. Love that. Well said. Well said, Mr. Polk. Yeah, man, I just, uh, I'm jumping out of bed excited. I mean, I was before and now it's just crazy to me, man. I'm I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to, to all of y'all at the corporate office to, to, you know, the founders for, for just pushing and, and, and wanting more. This thing's been good for a long time, but they wanted it to be great and they put in the work and it was evident at this conference and Brian Williamson and Todd, all of y'all, everyone at the corporate office, a huge part of that, man. Um, you know, I, we're on the advisory board and, and I was sharing with a couple of people that I even knew, you know, about these rollouts and stuff, but this conference just pieced it together for me and like packaged it up so well to where I know we are transforming an industry and, and quickly. I know we'll be a household name. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about all the rollouts, you know, what some other companies focus are trying to focus on how to make a couple extra mortgage protection sales. We're focusing on transforming an industry and becoming just this value driven company where we're adding value to number one, the new agent, we're adding value to the builders, we're adding value to our clients, or you don't even have to be our clients, but you can be part of my quality. And we're going to help you do life better, like for cheaper, right? Like how, how awesome is that, that um, we continue to focus on helping people. And by doing so, we get to change an industry mm -hmm. and we get to carry that culture along with us, man. I could not be so excited. All the passive income ways now that our agents can, can, you know, make money with the resets, with my quality, which you you know, 
we'll roll that out next week where there are so many ways. I know it was a quick hit at conference. It is going to revolutionize your business, just like switchboard, just like all these other things. Like there's so many ways to make money inside of my quality uh, to where you will, you can run an expense free business. So I'm fired up for our brand new agents, Brian. I'm fired up for our builders. I'm fired up for this name, Quillity. And I'm so fired up to be part of something that is truly impacting the lives of so many people. And then I get to do it with so many people uh, that I love. It's awesome. Love it. All right. Nailed it. You nailed it. I know we want a BAM family of that. So Mr. Edward, we'll... Uh... We'd, like, we'd love to hear from you. We love, I mean, you used to talk about somebody leading from the front, jump back into the leaderboard right out of conference, and there you sit with tremendous production, just what you continue to do for this organization in more ways than just what the leaderboards can even show, buddy. We'll forever in, in great debt to you, my friend. And what's your thoughts coming out of conference? Well, I'm just uh, honored to be on a call with, with these ladies and gentlemen, here that I get to, to share in some great meetings, some challenging meetings, uh, where we continue to help drive the direction of this company. And that's what I've always loved for the past 12 years, working with Brandon, Casey, Pope. They are always looking for input. They're, they're bringing folks around saying, hey, help us make this better for you and for the clients that we serve. Um, and I, I've always uh, been just so thankful to work with uh, founders, owners, leaders um, that put that first. And so now what I'm excited for coming out of this conference is just more people saying, you know what, I'm going to be a professional business owner, right? There's a lot of people that get into, you know, the, the side hustle, the gig economy, the I'm going to start my own small home business. And they, they always have that mentality that this is just supposed to be this small home business that they're going to make a little extra money here and there. And guess what? It always stays exactly that. But what we've been outfitted with is a professional business, a billion dollar business that every single one of us has the opportunity to come out of this conference and grab as much. It's not even grabbing as much. Like grabbing as much kind of sounds like there's a limited supply. The more I go out and do right now, the more professionalized I make my business, the more I dive into the training, the more I get into the, you know, learning more about annuities, learning more, all these things have to be done in their time, right? And so that's why we have counsel. We talk with our mentors about, okay, what should I do next? What's the game plan that I should do? But I'm treating it like a professional. I'm setting myself up like I'm going to be running a billion dollar business two years, five years, 10 years from now. And so that starts with the things and the actions that I do today. And that's what Brandon Casey and Brian with the, the entire home office there at, the, at Quillity has empowered every single one of us with is that ability to not have a small business. Stop calling it your small business. Stop calling it your at-home business, right? You have the ability to build a corporation that will last longer than you can stay alive, right? You have the ability to build, as we've talked about multiple times, legacy that will outlive you. Choices that your kids and grandkids will get to make because of the things that we do right now. And so we have to treat it like that. We have to mm -hmm. treat it like that. And so that's how I want to continue to say my thanks to Brandon, Casey, and Brian for what they have done and are doing is by doing all that I can do to build the most professional business for the Pritchard Agency and show other people how to do the same thing. And I'm just, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I mean, our base shop, our direct organization, we're on go mode, like serious right now. It's it's good. It's good. I was talking with Brad Smith just yesterday. It's, it's getting crazy right now. It's not even getting crazy. It's getting crazy. Like in the moment, like just crazy things are happening. Commitments are being made. Um, and I'm so excited for the next, the next five months uh, for this company are certainly going to be transformational. We're going to look up in December and be like, what the heck just happened? You know? <laughs> and that's, that's how I want to go into the new year feeling like that. So excited, ready to go. Let, let's do this thing. Let's do it. Well, thank you all for your, your time. Um, thank you. What, for one more. Here. Hang on, B-dubs. Are we missing one? Well, I want to hear from Brad Smith before we go. I know we got to hear a little bit from him earlier, but bam famming into next week's national call, guys. We're going to dive in to my quality. 
And so, um, guys, uh, you, you all see what, what Brad Smith brought to the organization from the stage. You just heard earlier what he contributed to helping create Slingshot 2.0 and the s'more and the advice that he gave. He's also been part of an instrumental team that's been behind the scenes, making sure MyQuility does what it's intended to do, which is to serve our agents and agencies first and foremost. So, Brad, a little bit of what you took from conference, but give them a little sneak peek about just what actual MyQuility is going to do for this, this industry. Yeah, man, I'm excited. I appreciate that. I know we're on, running up against the hour, so I won't uh, take too much time, but... Um, just to summarize, I think what everyone on this call is feeling coming out of conference, it's just a different feel. It's just a like the vision that was cast and the, the certainty that I think everyone has on the future of symmetry and quality is just on another level. And uh, for me, I'm going to, uh, I shared the same ideas with, with Kishan on it's not just the ideas that were presented. It's not just the partnerships. It's not just the rollouts. It's the people that were behind them. Like the people that are a part of the executive team is blowing my mind, <laughs> starting with you guys, Brian and Todd, and then, you know, the new hires that were just introduced. And like the people behind these ideas are, I just, I, I can't, I cannot even wrap my mind around uh, how Quility is attracting this type of talent, this type of, of uh, experience. And that's, that's what's most exciting to me because we're going to continue to come out with new ideas, continue to adapt and continue to be flexible. And uh, so as far as the role of that executive team, they're bringing the ideas, they're bringing the partnerships, they're playing their part, but great ideas rise and fall on execution. It rises and falls on execution. That's our part. They've done their part. Our part, the 3,000 people on this call, the, the uh, advisory board, the key leaders, the agency owners, our part is execution. We've got to be the ones that get everyone using Switchboard. They get everyone signed up for the Jeremy Miner sales training. They get everyone to the fall tours coming up. That's our job. That is our role. And I'm going to bring it. I know this, this advisory board is going to bring it. I know a lot of you guys are going to bring it. But starting with fall, fall tours, like it's going to be, the, they are reimagining fall tours. I told you guys before that this conference was not built up too much. I think everybody agrees with that it was bigger than, and I'm telling you right now, the fall tours are the same way. There are things Gonna, just trust me guys promote the fall tours okay promote the fall tours and let's get everyone engaged on these new rollouts everyone and here's the thing there, there, there are there are different people who treat things differently they approach things differently some people look at this career and they're saying man i'm confused there's too many things happening and they freeze that's what average people do they freeze they don't implement this is a career that pays the income of a doctor, of an attorney, of a CEO, but you're expecting the work to be that of a, of a low pay hourly wage. Like this is our profession. We've got to know our stuff. We've got to implement the tools. It, it's going to take time. I'm going to invest the time, but average people get overwhelmed. But you know what, Brian? You know what, Todd? I'm not average, <laughs> and I don't think the 3,000 people on this call are average. I had to take that opportunity, Brian. <laughs> I, I to... like it. <laughs> I, I, am it. So, I am so fired up about <laughs> implementing these, that we get the privilege of implementing the tools of this executive team that have gone so far above and beyond to give us the opportunity of a lifetime, and I'm taking full advantage of it. Man. So good. That's what happens, you know. I'm trying to trying to wrap it up, you know. The, and then the then the nurturer comes in and makes sure every voice is heard. And we would have missed that. You see, I, I got to learn every day. I'm still learning, Stevie. Man, we are uh, so blown away by the partnership of the advisory board, guys. Yeah. None of that conference happens without their wisdom, their guidance, their expertise, their late night text messages with the founders. 
hey, I've got an idea for you, Keyshawn. Hey, I've got an idea. Cicely, what do you think about this? They're in constant communication, guys. They're leading from the front. They care so much about each and every one of you and your opportunity to surpass the success that they've been able to experience. They want it for you just as bad as they want it for themselves. They want it for you to have it faster, bigger, and more um, unimaginable than anything when they first started at this place. Our founders want the same guys. They're already back at it. Brandon and Casey were supposed to take the week off. I've been on the phone four times a day with Casey and Brandon's been in the office every single day. The MyQuility team is down the hall right now meeting with Grant Thornton. If you've not heard of them, Google them. It's a good thing. Guys, the things that are going on behind the scenes right now are bananas. And we're all so excited and we can't wait to see what the future holds. We didn't once stop to even address and pinpoint some of the new partnerships that were rolled out, guys. Some of the household names that Quility is now going to be in business with moving forward because we've got so much awesome stuff going on. So stay tuned next week. We'll make sure it's communicated, marketed, but be plugged in to learn more about my quality and switchboard and the QSVs and the way that these channels are going to continue to service you all. We appreciate you. We appreciate your investment into your own lives by getting out to Denver. We can't wait to continue to see everybody next week. Thank you, advisory board. Thank you all.